everyone. Welcome to our home. Hey everybody. We are in for another makeover. This time it is our master ensuite. And it has not been touched, I guess, since our last bathroom remodel um, when we had the leak. Um, we did do some enhancements to this one, like new paint, I gel finished the cabinets there, that dark brown. But other than that, it's pretty much been the same since we moved in. So this is a cast iron tub and just some tile, an enclosed glass shower that I have tried everything to clean, but just can't seem to get that hard water off. So here's some last pictures uh, before the demo. And as you can see, it's going to be going through a huge transformation. And the kids had their new bathroom a couple years back. And now I'm like, why can't us parents have a nice bathroom? So we are so excited that you're here on this journey. So let's get in. Okay, so the demo is done. The shower, the bathtub, it is all gone. The mirror that was here, not sure if we're keeping that piece. The medicine cabinet is gone. There we go, the bare bones. And we are just getting started, but pretty good progress for half a day of a demo. So the cabinet shelves are going to get redone because you'll see in the new one the shelving would have been in the wrong places and the tub is in and the niche is in so um, I was listening to all the pushing and shoving that was required to get the 60 by 32 inch tub. Uh, in place, but gosh, it looks great. So excited to take a nice bath in here. <laughs> it's a very deep tub, which is nice, and it's a lot wider. So when you're showering, you're gonna have a lot more room to move around, but this is the state that we are in. It's coming along well. While the remodel was happening, I went to Pinterest for some inspiration. Okay, you guys, about day six, and 
We are at the weekend. We started on Monday, Saturday, and should be done on Monday. So seven full days. It's looking great. The cabinets are in. He had to custom do the shelves. Oh, great. I painted it. Yay. And we're going to Home Depot today to grab kind of the rest of the stuff that we need. This is the mirror that I chose. It's the popular pivot mirror. So that's going to go right there. I'm still going to have a medicine cabinet because we love that extra storage. But the tub looks so good. This is the hexagon that's so popular right now, the mosaic. And I think the grout color we picked, which is frost from floor and decor, looks beautiful. And this really kind of um, beautiful porcelain tile is yeah, just makes it kind of feel like a little bit of a spa feel, huh? The puppy seed, I wasn't quite sure about. We were just gonna do half the wall, and we were either gonna do it on that side of the wall, or we were gonna, we were gonna do it on this side of the wall. So I don't know, it's just paint. You know, paint you can change at any time. So, but what do you guys think? I think this quartz countertop is beautiful. Look at that gold threading in there. And then this is an extra large sink from Kohler. And yeah, I think um, we went with the one hole versus the three hole like in the other bathroom. And so can't wait to see the finished bathroom. Oh, and here are the floors. I know they're covered right now, but love it. Can't wait to have a nice bathroom as an ensuite. Okay, you guys, the bathroom is done. So let's go check it out. So let me just highlight a few things. Sorry for the echo. Um, we have the hexagon mosaic, and it goes really well with this um, very spa kind of taupey tile. And the tile goes all the way to the top around the windows. We picked this super cute um, shower fixture, and this is a acrylic, a little stronger than an acrylic tub and then we have the Schluter that's chrome and these are new cabinets um, I don't know if you remember the old ones they had been painted over and over and over so now we have cabinets that are perfect um, you open them they're a lot wider than before I wish I showed you guys before for um, what it looked like, but there was quite a um, quite a bit of edging here, so we really only had a very small section to um, store things. So this is going to be great additional storage. We got a new chrome towel bar. I did have him put it really close to the door because I planned to put a robe hook right there, and then. The floors are porcelain. They're this really nice looking natural wood and it feels great to walk on and it's porcelain so very resistant to anything stains. Uh, we got a new toilet. It's a Kohler um, in the little flushing mechanism. We painted this wall poppy seed and the other wall is Swiss coffee. And this is a new light fixture from Amazon. 
Um, let me show you how it works. Um, first, let's go to the counter. So there's this bull nose on both sides and then plywood underneath. But I just love the marbling. Look how beautiful that is. And the six inch backsplash. So lots of marbling on this piece. The sink is really beautiful. It's from Kohler. And this awesome fixture I'm in love with, it's from Delta. And we had to special order it, but I love that. Let's turn it on this way. Hot and cold. And very powerful. And I'm guessing this is the stopper. Oh, the stopper's in the back. Oh, it's so cute. This is decorative. So this is a decorative piece, but um, we went from a three-hole counter faucet to a, we're going to a one hole with one lever. So I'm really excited about that. Now this medicine cabinet is a little extra. We did add an extra outlet here. This is a mirrored medicine cabinet. It's mirrored on both sides. I don't know why. <laughs> And it's a soft close. Um, we also got this light. You just, I don't know if you can see it, but it lights up. It's kind of like a night light um, feature, which is going to be nice at night, right? So we, we turn this on. Oh, the fan goes on. This fixture goes on. And then I'll show you. There's a little button here. I'm going to push it. And pow, the LED light goes on. Bulbs don't need to get replaced. This is from Amazon. It's 40 by 28, and you can hang it horizontal or vertical. But as you can see, the lights don't match, so I need to change out those chandelier bulbs for a um, bright daylight white. But I like it, it kind of reminds me of hotels or spas. Um, for this, this was cream before we just spray painted it because it's an extra large size. So it was really hard to find just a cover for that that was in white. So, so far we love it. There's um, a lot of stuff to put back in here. And I think the kiddo will probably want to take a bathtub tonight. So I just did a little cleanup, any kind of paint splatter, I used the magic eraser and it came off beautifully. And then here is the vanity soft close cabinets. We got these from Lowe's. They're just very simple chrome pulls. And you want to, you know, use it like when you're trying to decide what to buy. You want to try it out to make sure that you enjoy using it, especially since you're going to be opening these drawers and cabinets a lot. Does it feel good on your fingers? I know it's so like little issue, but that's that's what I always do because you don't want to be unhappy with what you pick. So there is the bathroom tour, you guys. Thank you so much for following along with us. And I don't think we're going to do many more remodels after this, but we do have the laundry room um, that we also had the contractor put cabinets in. So make sure you check that video out when it goes up. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. This is powerful. King, what do you think of our new bathroom? Whoa. Hey everyone, I'm back. So we have been using the bathroom now for a couple weeks and just wanted to show you some of um, the things that we've done since then as well as some things that are working and things that aren't working. Um, we did put up this hand towel holder and um, I don't know if I mentioned the, the what happened with this medicine cabinet, but it basically was the wrong size. The um, the fitting here, the the cutout in the wall was for a very old school style medicine cabinet, which is no longer sold. It's very hard to find. 
so our contractor had to cut the hole out a little more and he made it work. Uh, we also moved this power outlet which was a only just a single double and we made a quadrant, um, I don't know the term for that, but the quadrant um, outlet and we put it right below because we have electric toothbrushes that need to be charged all the time so basically move that here. It was over, I believe it was over, it was over here or something. No, it was down here, I think. Yes, down here. So yeah, that got moved. And I'm loving this um, six inch backsplash all around. Um, the standard one, I think is four, but this is a quartz countertop and it also had a bull nose that goes all around and he put plywood underneath in case anyone were to stand on this um, to do anything, for example, install this light that we just got. So let me show you what that looks like. And when you turn it on, so this is an LED, which is great, no bulbs to replace. And then of course, um, we touch this and boom the border lights come on and now they kind of are more matchy than the um, the soft white that we had above. So that's why we changed out that light fixture. That is actually from Amazon and it's very bright. It's lovely. So the, this is that single faucet I was telling you about. Um, it does get a little drippy underneath here, so we just put a little microfiber cloth to catch all that. Um, um, the sink is great, except it does have like a little bit of a strange shape to it here, so we have to kind of always like brush the water down and rinse it out. So that's that's okay, but uh, you know, as I mentioned, that under counter mount under mount sink versus that clamshell sink that we had before. Um, real, really much easier to clean and then no like grout issues on the outside of the counter. So quartz is the way to go. Still really loving this color here. So in overall, I think for the bathroom, as far as the choices that we made on the materials, um, the only thing, thing I would probably would have changed is the floor so if I pull out you'll see we've got that kind of grayish tile and the white counter the white vanity and the floor is a little more brown which I think doesn't get old but as you can see it doesn't transition well into the master bedroom So I think that's the only thing. I don't know if you can tell the browns are a little different. There's a little more grayish and then this is more brown. But it doesn't, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, oh, this is my like phone holder. If you guys don't have one of these, this is like, the weirdest thing. It's from Amazon. It doesn't, see look, it's smooth and not sticky at all. But the minute you stick it on a flat surface like glass or something like here, I just literally one tap and you can't take the sucker off like it's just on it's weird anyway I love that I take it everywhere so I can watch my like TikToks and stuff um, I'm loving these cabinets my husband did put a pull out drawer in this one so that's really nice because it goes so deep um, and we have been filling it up so that nice wide additional storage we put a, a hook here and then we put this towel bar also I got from Amazon but with the matching toilet paper roll you know those Costco toilet paper rolls basically they were like not spinning properly in this so I took it off so right now we don't have a toilet paper roll <laughs> this toilet is from Kohler and it's like the weirdest design like the water comes out from that and does like a big old swirl down into the drain that's interesting 
and then um, we put a curved shower rod here. So, I don't know if you can see, it's curved. This one was really cool. It didn't need to be drilled into the tile. This is actually just a um, one of those ones that are like spring loaded. So, this has been nice. A nice white shower curtain with like the cutest little tassel trim. That's from Target. And we spray painted this white. It was cream before. So, yeah, overall, oh, did I show you our cute fixture? So, this is the shower fixture. Isn't it cute? I love the little design. Um, the shower head pressure is not super strong, so I might want to change that. I love the hexagon mosaic backsplash. And then I added this thing um, to hold the soap. And I'll probably add a couple hooks to hold my razor and the loofahs and stuff. So, other than that, look at how big the soaking tub is. This is so underrated. Like, having that ridge right here to put your foot to like shave or whatever soap up your legs that has been really nice I mean it's just a small little change but um, we also widened the tub so that's I believe 32 inches um, versus the standard 30 that we had before so yeah that's the tour um, this is the hardware I picked for the cabinets we did a clear one here and then just a really simple round one for this. This is our soft clothes. Here is the art piece we chose to hang in the bathroom. It's gonna go right here. Do you guys like turtles? I think uh, we chose this one because he matches really well with the poppy seed from Bear. And yeah, that's where it's gonna go. Gonna back up and see if it'll look nice. It's got a black frame on it, which actually looks really well against a dark wall with the black frame. Um, surprisingly, looks pretty good. So, balancing out the white. <laughs> Do you guys like turtles? Let me know what you think of this piece. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek of our before laundry room and that video should be up shortly. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you later.